welcome to Coaching Conversations with me, Marie Taylor, and Steve Crabb. Hello. Today our topic of conversation is about presenting the business case for coaching. So we're going to be exploring how you might do that and giving you some tips. So do join us. issues that's really important in coaching is obviously about getting the business and getting a sense of how to create <laughs> one of the points yeah. Yeah, in the business. Yeah. It's probably one of the most important points. Yeah. So could you say a little bit um, about how you go about doing that? A little bit maybe about pitching for business? Mm. Yeah, okay. I guess there's two different types of pitches. One is when you are pitching one to one. Yeah. You get the opportunity to work with somebody who they may be the in to the company. Mm. Um, and then you may have gone past that point and some people will have to then present to maybe the HR directors or a group of people to mm. present a particular type of coaching or training. I think there's two different ways of dealing with that. Mm. And well, those two different ways, there's some common themes behind it all. Okay. Okay, so for example, let's deal with the one-to-one. Yeah. And with one to one, it's so much easier because I think it's the, the best thing to do is give someone experience. Yes. It'd be like um, imagine you're buying a house, mm -hmm. and I could either tell you about the house, yeah. or I could show you the brochure of the house, or I could take you around the house. Mm -hmm. Which is most likely to engage you? Yeah, we know they're going to they're going to go and take you around the house, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. So I could either tell you about my coaching. I could either show you some testimonials in my nice glossy brochure, or I could give you an experience of it. Mm. I, I know though, don't you, from my experience too, that sometimes when people give you a glossy brochure, you want more, you want to understand more. So say a bit more about you know, what you do that isn't the glossy brochure, that's the, let me give you an experience of it, or? Well, I think with all of those, whether it's the explanation, whether it's the brochure, or whether it's the brochure or the website, or the business cards, anything we use to market ourselves yeah. is not about us. Mm -hmm. Same with the nice. experience. Yeah. You know, the experience shouldn't be about, let me show you what I can do. Mm. The experience should also always be about what's going to be of service to you. Mm. And on a one-to-one -one basis, I think that's a lot easier than if you've got a group of people that you're presenting to. Um, because you can say to that person, just stand up, let's mm. do something. Mm. You know, or you can even just, you know, without getting into the doing of techniques, you can get into the, well, let's just have a conversation. Yes. You know, why are we here? You know, what's really important to you? What would make the biggest difference? Mm -hmm. And whether it's on the one-to-one -one basis or whether it's presenting to the group, it's always about what does it do for them? Mm. Coaching is always about being of service. It, it moves into a conversation that a, lot, that a lot of coaches don't want to go into. Yes. Say a bit more about that, because I think that in working it's with coaches, word. we it's, see that. It's that word. Selling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The scary word. Yeah, yeah. scary selling. Oh, coaches want to be coaches. They mm -hmm. love doing coaches, but as soon as you say you're running a business and that involves selling your services, mm -hmm. so many coaches stop breathing. <laughs> you know, sometimes need to resuscitate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but that's what we have to do. You know, if we don't sell, we don't get to eat. Mm. And I like to eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, yeah. So, Realising that selling isn't about taking something and going, hey, look, I'm going to overcome all your objections and make sure that you know, this is something you walk away with whether you want it or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Selling is really about building a relationship with someone and finding out whether what you have is of service to them. Nice. So I think when we're presenting the business case, we've got to really come from their perspective and think, you know, what does this person really want, really need? see if there's a space for building up a relationship and see if what we have is of service to them. Yes. Because when we have that conversation, have, have those um, yeah, have those moments where we can go, yeah, okay, I can see where this could be of service to you, the client gets it, there's no selling. Yes. They just, they, they just want to take the order. But it's almost as though what you're describing, <clears throat> which is lovely, is that that sense that actually the sell isn't necessary if the business is clear about what they want and if you can articulate where you can and can't help. So it's a, it sounds like you're having a kind of conversation of clarity in what you're describing. That's what selling is. Yeah. It's really getting clarity 
first of all, you've got to have clarity about what you offer. Mm. Do you really value it? Mm -hmm. Can you really see the difference that it makes? Yeah. And making sure that you, you've got such clarity on that, that you can talk about it and articulate it. And then having clarity from the other person's perspective here, which is, what do they really need? Nice. And seeing if there's a match up between the two. And if there's not, don't miss sell. Mm -hmm. And that may be a conversation for another time, this issue, because there's a quite a big issue there, isn't there? Around um, assessing client need, but helping people to work out sometimes if what they say they need is what they really need. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's all about them. Great. Yeah. Thank you. So, join us next time when maybe we'll be talking a little bit more about this issue of helping people to assess their needs or to helping them to think about is what you say you want what you really want or is there more thank you for joining us thank you